for today. We got some more 2022-23 Parker's Champions Blasters. So let's get into these. Got three more of these to open today. These have eight cards per pack, five packs per box, and you're gonna get one of these blue minis, 51 minis exclusive to these blasters per box. So let us get into it. Right. Some of these blasters, the ones I've opened so far, haven't been great, but um, they're actually, I've seen a, quite a few good cards come out of here, including the, um, the reds out of 51. There's been a lot of nice stuff, so. Just the ones I've opened haven't been as lucky. Blankenberg rookie. Timo Meyer silver. This is going to be hard with the band-aid on my thumb. And this is the fourth Jason Robertson. Third or fourth Jason Robertson, 51. Oh, never mind. That was the fourth one I pulled, but this is the uh, wrapper back. So cool. I do wish they'd upper deck did more with the um the uh, 51 retros, because there's just, like, didn't do much with it. It's just the 51 retros, and then there's, like, nothing else themed with that in this product. It's strange. Jeff Petrie, Silver, and a Jukebox Heroes of Cole Caulfield. They're cool. Just the uh, regular Silver version. But yeah, I, I wish there was, like, more retro-themed stuff in this product. It's, like, obviously the designs are, um, you know, kind of retro -y, but the 51s and a couple of the inserts and kind of it. Kempe Rainbow. There's just not much to it. A couple inserts, that's not a lot of parallels. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot better. That being said, here I am opening it. I do like it, for sure. It's just there's more potential for this than what we got. All the way short print rookie. Peace. They like the large checklist though. But again, only if there was more just more to it. More parallels. More players. It would have been nicer to see a lot more retired players in this. But there's a Matthews and a Trevor Zegris is our 51 blue. These are cool. But yeah. A lot of potential for this product, and Upper Deck didn't exactly deliver on it, sadly enough. I was hoping there'd be a little more, but oh well. It's a lot of really cool rare cards, though, the books. Um, kind of buyback, those are cool for sure, but... Could have done that. <laughs> Probably be building a lot of the, uh, well, not a lot, but some of the sets in this. I think once this hits E-Pack, I'll go for the mini set. Um, this is a set builder's product for sure. Uh, here's our next 51 mini blue of Yanni Gord. This is a large checklist too. I think 100 cards for those minis. That's not too bad. A Peter Forsberg Legend short print. It's cool. Only one of these per hobby box for retired players. So um, the early sales were pretty good. I know a Patrick Watt sold for 20 bucks, But um, I don't know what they're doing now. I haven't looked since. But they're cool. I'm always happy to pull... All of Famers. 
Pasternak rainbow. Not a short print. March or so. Tori Krug um, color variant. Last pack of this blaster. It's already kind of open. Maybe that's good luck. And we got a bread hole. 51 retro. I do like these. These of the old old school players. So cool. So cool. I'd love to get some of the um the gold rainbow out of 51 of those. That would be sweet. I don't know. I think they might be a little pricey though. This Again, I said, like I like I said, this is a set builder's product, and this seems like the product where it's going to be like master, master builders, master set builders of this product, I mean, uh, but yeah, that'll drive up the prices of some of the tougher stuff for sure. Say, Kent Johnson, 51. They've already announced the 2023-24 version of this, which features 52 Parkhurst Retros. Oh, got a jersey card in here. I actually haven't pulled a jersey from this. I haven't seen many of them. I think they're uh, somewhat difficult. Right. Tomorrow's Riches of Cole Sillinger. And I wonder who that could be. That's Kevin Fiala. Jersey card. It's cool. The first look at these in hand. They're actually quite nice for just a standard jersey. Somewhat a little thicker than usual. Design's good. Nice placement. Cool. Nothing crazy, but cool card. Brock Besser, Rainbow. Current LA King, Kevin Fiala. He's been an LA King for a while now. It's, it's weird pulling him in Minnesota. It's strange. Strange, strange, strange. Jack Quinn, that's a short print rookie. There are photo variations. I don't think they're available in retail, though. I think it's only Hobby and E-Pack. So I don't have to worry about finding any of those in here. Our last blue is Owen Power. Rookie blue. And I guess that's it. That, is, that was the last pack. That is it. Thanks for watching. I'll have more of this stuff on the channel. Probably. That's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.